Выходи, выходи, выходи! Вставьте, люди! Тут просто такая проблема. Стали выбивать окна. По-моему, колесо загорелось или провод перегорел. Точно не знаю. Ukraine's frustration is growing with the restrictions the Biden administration has placed on using American weapons against targets in Russia. Soon, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will have his last chance to convince the American leader to change his position. The Economist writes about this. The publication recalled that the complete ban on hitting targets in Russia with American weapons was lifted in May when Washington reported that Ukraine could strike at a concentration of Russian troops on the other side of the border who were preparing to attack the city of Kharkov. When a month later the Ukrainians entered the Kursk region, they took with them anti-aircraft missile batteries which were deployed against Russian troops called upon to repel the invasion. No objections arose in Washington. In the past, the reason for barring Ukraine from using American weapons against targets in Russia was that it could provoke an escalating response from the Kremlin that would ultimately cause more harm to Ukraine and could even lead to Russia using nuclear weapons. In recent months, new reasons have emerged for restricting Ukraine. Unnamed officials suggest the administration does not want to jeopardize a future reset with Moscow. Other officials argue that allowing Ukraine to use ATACMS, which has a longer range than HIMARS, against targets in Russia would not change the strategic picture because there are not enough targets within range of the systems. Russia has relocated most of the aircraft used to launch the powerful glider bombs and in any case, such a scarce resource would be better used against targets in Crimea. The newspaper writes, it was also recently revealed that the Biden administration has blocked Britain and France from approving Ukraine's request to use Storm Shadow stroke scalp missiles outside Ukrainian territory. This was possible because the cruise missile contains American components. Experts, however, call arguments about the lack of targets within range of Western weapons or the lack of missiles dubious. Ben Hodges, a former commander of US forces in Europe, described the situation as a persistent excuse that is misleading and inaccurate. 
He said there was no moral or legal reason not to attack these targets. He noted that Mr. Biden had been getting a lot of, a lot of advice from Obama-era officials who were repeatedly wrong about Russia. And if Mr. Biden doesn't change his mind, his legacy will be tarnished. Mr. Zelensky will soon have his final chance to persuade Mr. Biden to embrace a new approach before he leaves office when they meet next week in New York on the sidelines of the annual UN General Assembly. The Economist adds, Meanwhile, Ukraine is working hard to develop long-range weapons, and by demonstrating what they can do, the Ukrainians are making an even stronger case for being allowed to use ATACMS and Storm Shadow stroke scalp against targets in Russia, says ground warfare expert Ben Barry. Military expert, head of the Center for Military Legal Research, Alexander Musienko, believes that the decision of the American administration regarding permission to strike Russia is already on the way. In his opinion, the fact that the enemy has once again begun to pull up S-300 installations closer to the Ukrainian border makes it necessary for the United States to grant permission for long-range strikes on Russian territory.